guys, what's going on? So today is our fourth video in our series of detailing the best and worst aspects of owning a cockatiel and a budgie. And today we are going to lay out the five worst aspects of owning a cockatiel. The number one worst aspect of owning a cockatiel is that they are clingy. Now this is the flip side of our best aspect of owning a cockatiel, being that they're cuddly and affectionate. They are clingy and sometimes they want attention when you don't have time to give them attention. Sometimes you're trying to do housework or you're trying to work on the computer or you're trying to do anything in your life and you have a cockatiel sitting on your shoulder and pecking at your face and wanting attention and cuddles. And I know for some people the idea of having a bird on you all the time is a dream come true. Uh, but I will say there are times where I'll be working on the computer and Pearl will be on my shoulder, she'll walk down my arm, then she'll sit on the keyboard, then she'll start chewing on the chewing on the side of the screen and chewing at the key. She's actually popped keys off of my keyboard before and she'll sit right where my hands need to go and I will carry her over to the jungle gym and put her down and walk back and she'll flap right back over and land on me again. And it's not until I actually put her in the cage and lock her in there that I get any peace and get any work done. It's not convenient having a bird on you all the time. The number two worst aspect of owning a cockatiel is that they are very messy. Now this is also a downside to owning a budgie, but because cockatiels are larger, as you can imagine, the mess is larger too. Cockatiels have a lot of dander, which budgies don't generally have. Um, there's been many times where Pearl has been sitting on one of us and preening herself and she'll fluff all her feathers up and a white cloud of dander comes up and there's like a big white patch of dandruff on your shirt and that's not something we ever experienced with pillow and naturally with bigger birds you have bigger poops which obviously we all know is not a good thing the third worst aspect of owning a cockatiel is that they can bite and obviously they're bigger than budgies they have larger beaks and they can draw blood so if you have small children having a cockatiel may not be ideal um, if you're at all worried about your children being bit and of course all birds can bite once in a while and a cockatiel bite is not nearly as bad as that of a larger bird um, but compared to a budgie a cockatiel bite can hurt significantly more they can draw blood pearl actually bit kevin once in a way that did draw blood so that is something to consider if you have small children but if you have a tame cockatiel especially a hand raised one it's very rare that they will bite in any significant way also going along with that because cockatiels are larger and heavier than budgies um, when they sit on you unless their claws are filed down on a very regular basis those claws can get sharp and rather painful um, we try to get pearl's claws filed down tends to be about once a month um, and most of the time it's fine but I will say in that last week or so before the filing um, it's quite uncomfortable to hold her or to have her sit on you because those claws are quite large and sharp and she is a much heavier bird than Pillow. Since getting Pearl whenever Pillow sits on us I always marvel that he feels like absolutely nothing compared to Pearl who's big and heavy. <laughs> the number four worst aspect to owning a cockatiel over a budgie is that they are more expensive. They're obviously larger, they require larger cages, they require larger toys, they require more food. Just everything about having a larger bird just equates generally to more money. And the number five worst aspect to owning a cockatiel, at least this is from our personal experience with Pearl over Pillow, is that there tends to be more medical issues. And what I mean by that is baby cockatiels are very clumsy. And because of that, they have a hard time getting around, they have a hard time flying, especially if their wings have been clipped, which pearls were when, she, when we first bought her. And she would frequently slide around the cage and that caused a lot of her tail feathers to snap off. She was almost a complete stump butt at one point. There was a point where she actually seemed to have hurt her wing uh, for a day or two. Um, we just observed it and it got better, it was perfectly fine, but she just landed wrong and she was sort of holding her wing out and it seemed to be a little tender, a little sore for a couple of days. And she recently had a blood feather and we did a video about that and the link to that is below. And I think because of her size and her clumsiness, Pearl has just had a lot more small medical mishaps. Pillow never had any medical issues as a baby. Even with clipped wings, he had no problem getting around. He was just much more agile. Being small, he just was able to control himself a lot better than Pearl. He was kind of a big, heavy, clumsy boy. So that is our wrap up of our series of videos detailing the best and worst aspects of owning a budgie and a cockatiel. Uh, obviously, for us personally, the good aspects far outweigh the bad, or we wouldn't have these birds. But we wanted to detail it out for anybody who's considering buying one or both of these birds so you can make an informed decision. So we have links to the three other videos below, so you can click on those and get the full overview and hopefully make the best decision for yourself. 
that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.